which hydrogen water bottle should you get? Should you get the Echo Go from Echo H2O or should you get the Echo Go Plus from Echo H2O? These are two of the most popular hydrogen water bottles on the market and I'm gonna share the main differences between the two with you and which one I think is better. So both of these hydrogen water bottles are super effective, but I'm gonna tell you the main differences. One is water capacity. The Echo Go, which is this white one here that obviously looks a little different than this one, holds nine and a half ounces of water. The Echo Go Plus holds 10 full ounces of water. These both have two different cycles and two different modes, but the amount of hydrogen pieces per million that they produce is vastly different. The Echo Go has two different cycles, one being a three minute cycle that produces 0.8 pieces per million and a 10 minute cycle that produces 3.0 pieces per million of hydrogen. And then the Echo Go Plus has two different cycles as well. The first one being a five minute cycle that produces 2.5 pieces per million and another cycle for 10 minutes that produces 4.5 pieces per million. So the most pieces per million that the Echo Go is going to produce in 10 minutes is three and the Echo Go Plus is going to produce 4.5. So quite a bit of a difference there. Another huge difference, especially one that I've noticed owning and using both of these two for several weeks now is the battery life. This Echo Go, I have to recharge almost every 10 uses or every time I use the 10 minute cycle 10 times. The Echo Go Plus, I get over 20 uses of the 10 minute cycle out of this water bottle before I have to recharge it. So the Echo Go Plus, I only have to recharge every four or five days. Whereas if I'm using this one, I have to charge every one and a half or two days. So that's a main difference in especially convenience for me as a user of the two. Another difference between the two is the Echo Go Plus has a countdown timer on the front and I'll show you that here. So I'm gonna press this button twice to activate the 10 minute cycle. And then as you can see on the front, once my camera focuses, it has a countdown timer on the front, a little LED screen where it'll tell you in how many minutes or seconds your hydrogen water will be done. This one does not. They do both beep whenever the cycle is complete, but personally, I really like that timer component on the Echo Go Plus. And then the last major difference between the two is pricing. This is priced at $249 and this is priced at $149. So quite a bit of a difference there, but for me, paying a little bit of extra for obviously more hydrogen pieces per million in the Echo Go Plus is worth it for me. And the charging time alone and how long it lasts on a single charge is also worth it for me as well. And because I'm willing to invest this amount already into a water bottle that gives me benefits, this one, because it produces more hydrogen pieces per million, I've been able to see more of a difference with the benefits that I've been getting in this bottle versus this bottle. So to me, the Echo Go Plus is a clear winner. I think both of them will be able to give you the benefits that you're looking for. If you're looking for a hydrogen water bottle, Echo H2O is one of the only brands that I personally trust after doing my own research. You do your own research, obviously, and choose what's best for you. But between the two, I think the Echo Go Plus is a winner. So hopefully this video was helpful for you if you were looking for the differences between the two Echo Go and Echo Go Plus water bottles. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and if you'd like to check out either of these water bottles and get a discount on either of these water bottles, I'll put my affiliate link below so you can click on that and check it out and get a discount if you decide to buy one of these. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.